Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Jubble back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple and cool looking intro in Adobe After Effects CS6. Uh, for this intro, you will need um, optical flares. Uh, you know, you could get that really from anywhere. I'm not saying anything, but you know, you can get it from anywhere. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need, and you need CS6. This might work on CS5.5 or CS5, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But let's get started. I didn't actually render the intro, so I can't really show you what it looks like, so you're going to have to follow me. Maybe you could look at the end of the video and see how it looks, and you could decide if you really want to follow the whole tutorial. But let's continue. First things first is that you're going to want to open a comp composition, new, right over here, and 1280 by 720, and let's make it, uh, you know what, 7 seconds sounds good. Uh, and there you go, the composition is made. On the right click over here, and go to new, and go to solid and just choose a black solid, black looks best. Uh, where did it go? Alrighty then, it's gonna come here in a little bit, it's lagging. Alright, there it is. Now right click again, and go to new, and then go to text. Now it's gonna pop up. Alrighty then, now you're just, you're just gonna type in whatever you want in your intro. I'm gonna type in uh, Mr. Jubble. There you go. Uh, Let's change up our font a little bit. It's being laggy today. I don't know why, but let's continue anyways. Uh, let's choose this. All right, this is really boring and simple, but this is just tutorials. Uh, let's center this right now. Just eyeball it. Uh, there you go. Let's just call that the center. Uh, now, make sure you have the text selected and go to Effects. And then go to simulation right here and then then go to CC scatterize okay so click on that and this should come up now uh, click the little timer on the scatter uh, the right twist uh, or the left twist either one make sure you only have one of these two selected I'm gonna go with the right twist and you know scatterize it maybe a 30 30 would look good no no 30 is too high maybe 25 so here, 25. There we go, 25 looks nice. Uh, now what you want to do is that you want to make it spin a little bit. So let's spin this this way. As you can see, it's at 102. Now if we go forward a little bit more, we could spin it a little bit more. Maybe even add a little bit of this turbulence. Go a little bit more, spin it a little bit more. Go a little bit more, spin it a little bit more. And now what we want to do is we want to bring it back to its natural uh, texty stuff. So we're going to go a little bit more forward, and we're going to start uh, decreasing the turbulence a little bit. And we're going to start decreasing uh, this too. We're going to go forward a little bit more. We're going to decrease this to uh, back to zero, like that. We're going to a little bit more forward, and we're going to decrease the scatterize. This is going to bring the text back together. So a little bit more forward and do this S small spinning, bring, bringing it back to zero. That's what we're doing, uh, zero. And now slowly decrease uh, the scatterize. Oh, OK. And bam, it's like that. So now if we watch this, we can see that it does the spinny thing. It spins, it looks cool looking slows down, starts spinning fast again, and then it gets made back into text. As you can see, it pauses over here. It's, uh, you know, it's moving slowly, but it's coming back together. And that looks really nice, doesn't it? So let's make it look a little bit more cooler, and make sure you still have the text selected, and go to Effects, uh, Video Copilot, and then Optical Flares. Uh, now after this load up, it's going to take a while. The computer's running really slow today. It's been running slow for like the past three to two days. I don't know why. I might have to defrag my disk, uh, my hard drive. I mean, so Optical Flares 3D Flare Studio, uh, 1.2.132. Don't know if that's the latest build, but might be. Sorry for the long loading times. I'll just pause it until it loads up, but much faster that way. Okay, we're back and it's working. As you can see, if I drag the Optical Flare. It, it makes the little particles invisible and it shows the back background layer. Uh, we could change this to anything we want. Uh, so if we go to options right here, 
Uh, now I do have pro presets too, and basically what that is is that it's more optical flares. But if you just have the standard optical flares, this will definitely work. Oh my god, oh, this is this is, oh, this is really slow. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Come on. Ah, oh, god dang it. I gotta pause again. Okay, so I finally opened up. I'm gonna go down to my presets too and look at all these images. You could choose anything you want. It's completely up to you. Very customizable intro. I'm gonna choose the cross color one and click on OK. So now if we watch this, we can see that it does this. It adds all the colors in here and it makes it look, you know, cool looking. Now you could keep this in the center or you could have it on the side and make it a little bit brighter. Uh, where's the brightness? Right here. Like that. So if we watch this, we could see that it does the spinning thing. And it looks like they're very colorful particles. Uh, I'm sorry, my computer's lagging a little bit. But as you can see, it goes faster and then it starts slowing down to make this. Now, we're pretty much done here. This is all the intro is. It's very simple intro. It looks very nice. Uh, you know, uh, if you want to add more optical flares around to make it look cooler, just right click on here, go to new and go to solid. Because, you know, optical flares are awesome. Now it's on top, so go to effects. You don't have to do this part, this is optional. And add some more optical flares up in here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on. God dang it, it takes way too long to load. Oh, there it is. Oh, stop responding. Alrighty then, pause, start again. Okay, finally opened up. Uh, we're just going to choose any optical flare we want. Uh, let's choose this one. It's going to look a little bit weird. I'm going to go to render mode and make sure you go to on transparent. And you know, it does this little thing. It's not really that cool, but whatever. That's too little. There you go. Uh, now this happens. Now one thing you can do with if you go back to the text layer and you go to uh, optical flares is that you can make it flicker. And I think the flickering adds a really cool, you know, it makes it look a lot better. So go. So if you go under flicker and you go into under the speed, increase that to anything random. Increase the random amount too. And this is just gonna make the the optical flare right over here just flicker. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can make this optical flare flicker too, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. F it. Uh, there you go. There you go. So that's going to flicker too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't really like the green one. It looks kind of bad. There you go. So this is a very simple intro. You know, you guys can make this in no time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did enjoy it, a uh, like would be appreciated and maybe even a subscribe button because I do make a lot of these. So thank you for watching and goodbye.